always look like a fucking latte with this ring light on. I don't even know what colour I am right now. Also, I need to scrub this down off because holiday prep is in full swing. We have a vlog of that coming as well as the Nine Crows Thrift Market. Thrift Nine Crows Flea Market, which yes, yeah, you'll see what this video is. Before I get into it, a very big fat welcome back to my channel. Yeah, today's video is something I have done similar of on my channel before, but not quite the exact same. Basically, what I'm going to be doing today is a vintage slash secondhand haul. I was going to include independent brands as well, but you know what? I actually have enough, so maybe I'll do a separate haul for independent brands. Um, because as you may or may not know, if you follow me on Instagram or even I think on here, you probably have some idea. I've been well. I think like I always shopped independently and vintage brands um, I did a big post on my Instagram about this the other day literally from the age of like 16 or whatever I was always like I literally went on strike on high street stores when I was like 16 um, because I was literally like I want to be cool I just um, wanted to stand out always kind of have done I went to flea markets and stuff when I was uh, that age um, and then obviously the fast fashion world really blew up and took over and as I said in the post I posted on Instagram very recently I think I just lost myself and started dressing for the likes as opposed to for the love of fashion don't get me wrong my love of fashion has always been there it always was there even when I was dressing for the likes but I think I just got too caught up in the likes um, and also yeah so I, that whole idea that you can't re-wear an outfit I think I got really caught up in that because obviously I think most of us did you know living on the gram basically this haul is I think I've only really ever done fast fashion-y kind of hauls um, I've included some vintage and thrift hauls actually I definitely have done so this is not my first time ever but yeah Rihanna, <laughs> fuck off! Um, so yeah, I just have a selection of a few different pieces that I've picked up. Um, some are very recent, like I literally bought today and like during the week. And then I have some from just throughout the summer that I want to show you how amazing some of the things you buy vintage can actually be. So I'm going to start with, and because I said I was going to go through, the, through these on Instagram the other day and I just didn't. My doorbell rang. I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start with some pieces that I picked up at the Nine Crows Flea Market the other day. I was selling, I had my own stall. It was actually so good. I made some money, which is fun because I'm going to Ibiza on Tuesday. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through. I only picked up a few little bits because I was literally like, bitch, don't look because I'm obviously going away. I need the fucking money. So yeah, I'm gonna go through them anyway. The first little bit I got, and what I will do also as well, also as well, help. I'm gonna leave handles of the people that I bought them off here and I'll tag them. I know one of the girls, especially, she has a Depop shop. So I will leave her Depop shop um, here somewhere and also down below. So I guess I'll start with, I guess, what I got from her. I think I got, I got two pieces from her. So the first thing was this. It's a little Playboy necklace. I'm so into Playboy right now, like the merch. <laughs> Um, yeah, but also look at my fucking nails. So yeah, I'm into it. It's a vibe. We're killing it. Yeah, so that was, um, I got it for five euro, but it was actually nine euro. I'm an idiot though. It was way more gold. And then um, you'll see in my upcoming holiday prep vlog, I've been spraying my face with tan every night this week to try and get myself tanned for my holidays because I'm not going to be able to bring the tan away. And I forgot to take the necklace off. And now it's all tanned. So not a vibe, but anyway. The name of her stall, her name is Kotlin, um, on Instagram. And that's her Instagram handle. And then her Depop name is Sugar and Spice Vintage. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check that anyway and it'll all be down below. The second thing I got from her and I'm fucking obsessed with, I have it on hold in work. And I think I left it on hold because I think I will eventually buy the second one too because it's slightly different. And you know, I just really love both. Um, it was basically this Novacek, so Burberry print hat. I'm really on a Burberry vibe at the moment. Burberry Playboy. <laughs> That is me right now. So yeah, it's just this little Nova check hat. I'm just gonna take my hair down so I can show you. Ow. Oh my god, that feels amazing. I look fucking weird right now. Okay, yeah, but I shall show you the hat on. The other, look, sorry. Where did they come from? <laughs> this is it on. 
I fucking love it. Anyone who knows me knows I am a bucket hat fangirl. I love them. I wear them all the time. So yeah, this was like 13 euro. So I definitely think it's worth it. The one I have on hold in work is Burberry print here and then black here and then black on the inside. Um, so I do think I'm probably just going to get that one too because it's a slightly different Nova check too. So that's that. Really into it. Literally 13 euro. Unreal. 13 or 12. I can't really remember. But yeah, good time. So that was that the first two bits and they're from Kochli. Now I guess while we're on the Novacek, I will go on to my second thing which I picked up from Molly Stall. Everyone watching this, I mean well most people watching this probably, especially for, if you're from Dublin, you probably know Molly. She has Molly's Minutes. I was on her podcast before um, and I picked this up at her stall. She actually, her and Tara Stewart did an amazing thing. What they did is you could bring pads as payment and I actually just brought three packets for each of them and I was like don't buy anything don't buy anything and then I saw the skirt Molly whipped it out of her suitcase and I was like I mean I kind of had to have it and I was like Molly how much is it and she was like no like you brought pads it's fine I was like no I didn't want like I wanted to give money but she just wouldn't accept money as well as the pads so that was that I really love this I actually just think this is like so my style it's literally pink and Nova check anyone who knows me I go for a pink phase fairly often so I mean no doubt there's gonna be another one soon I just think this sits really cutely I think this could also be worn in the winter and the summer and I feel like when I buy things lately I try to think about how much wear I'm gonna get out of it um, and that's why I guess shopping vintage and secondhand is better because the quality is often much better which means your clothes are gonna last longer um, so yeah that's the skirt um, I'm probably gonna bring this to Ibiza I think this would be even with the top I have on now I think this would be like super cute like just a little cute outfit for like daytime and stuff so that's the skirt and as I said that was paid for with pads <laughs> which are all going to a very very good cause homeless period homelessness period Ireland that's it yeah so that was that piece I'm gonna move on to the next piece I got at the market and I bought this off my friend Emer who shared my stall I actually put a picture up in this the other day um but it's just this little fishnet top I just think this is so cool and I also think this is something I will wear in winter as well like I feel like in winter you could put like you know long t-shirts under it or even like cropped t-shirts under it for like autumn and it was literally two euro like thank you Emer. like literally love that like definitely a bit of me there like the other day obviously because it's hot here at the moment I literally just had it with a little bralette I think I'll probably bring this to Ibiza as well just to like layer like over bikinis and stuff like just so handy um i think this was originally from urban outfitters urban renewal as well so like arkin and yeah it just looks really cute on so into it the next and final piece i got at the Fo uh, nine crows flea market is one of my favorite, my favorite things i've bought in a very long time it is this miniature dkmy bag like literally all you fit in here is like your phone your lip gloss and your card but i mean that's all you fucking need isn't it i mean look at her she fits all over my shoulder too so i mean i think that's all that really matters yeah this was literally 10 euro and i got this from oinza's stall i will tag her here i'm pretty sure she sells bits on the rag so be sure to follow her her stall was literally massive like there was so much that i was just like i don't even want to look because i know i will come home with more clothes or go home with more clothes than i came with so i didn't even look but yeah look at this such a cutie love her and also i feel like when i'm not wearing pink like i don't know lately i'm really into like gold and nudes so bit of me so that was everything i picked up at the flea market the next thing i am going to show is basically i only have one thing from here it's just from oxfam i think it was oxfam yeah it was oxfam um and i've been popping in there kind of sometimes uh, just when I'm on my lunch and stuff in work because it's literally across the road but I definitely need to go to like Cable Street and um, charity shops and stuff but I literally just go to the ones on Georgia Street because they're so handy also somebody a little Gail she has a podcast I was speaking to her at the market she had a gorgeous mini Louis Vuitton bag and she was telling me she got it at Liberties I think it's called a uh, charity shop it's on Camden Street and um, I actually saw it the other day and what I didn't realize is the charity is actually for addiction freedom from addiction so I'm definitely Definitely gonna pop in there. Moving on to what I picked up in Oxfam on Georgia Street. And I actually got three of these little dresses, but I only have one here. I sold one and then I 
left the other one in Connors, but I will pop a picture in because I think this one and the yellow one anyway were literally seven euro. So it's just this little pink slip dress. I just think this is so cute. Like you could get Obviously, it's a little bit see-through, but I feel like, you know, if you just wanted a real, like, subtle, kind of gorgeous-y, like, look, like, I just think it's so cute, especially in the summer. But then I think if you did want to wear it out in the winter, you could always buy, like, a pink bodysuit. Like, even if you put, like, a brighter pink under it, or even, like, a white bodysuit, then it, like, stops it from being so see-through. And you could just pop it with a little pair of heels in the winter, and it's still, like, something you could wear it for, like, a Christmas party or something like that. Because, I mean, obviously... Sadly, we're coming into autumn winter. I actually get sad every time I think about it. Especially, I have not been to enough festivals for the summer to be fucking over yet. Like, <laughs> rude. Just this dress, and as I said, I'm pretty sure it was like seven euro. So, I mean, bargain, am I right? Literally. So, yeah, go to your local charity shops. I mean, they're obviously not my local ones, but they're like the closest to me because I don't really go, like there's no charity shops in Donabay. And when am I ever the fuck in Malahide? Never. The last place that I am gonna show you some bits from is my job. <laughs> so if you don't know, now you know. I work in Nine Crows in Temple Bar. Vintage store, love it. Always have done, literally have shopped there since I was like 16, so it's an honor to work there now. Uh, in, ser in all seriousness, these pieces, there's a few that I bought today, and then there's a few that I've picked too, that I picked up in the last few weeks over the summer that I literally want my children to own one day. You know that kind of way? First piece I'm gonna show off is literally just a little silk scarf. Anyone who knows me knows I am obsessed with these, but look at this one. It's like very Versace-esque or Chanel-esque. Definitely more Versace to be honest. This one is one that is big enough that if you wanted you could also wear it as a top. So you could tie it like that. Tie it at the front like that. Or the other way that you do these. I'm not going to be able to do this with my hair. Tie them like that. I love that. That's so cute. Yeah, my plan for this, basically, I have a black bikini bottom and... <clears throat> oh my gosh. I have a black bikini bottom and then a gold bikini top. Yeah, yeah, that's what I have. But basically, when I'm in Ibiza, I have loads of gold jewelry too. And I'm just gonna do my casual little headscarf thing. Also, really considering, actually, 100% considering bringing out my own headscarf line. So, well, that would just be the start of something bigger. But I want to start with headscarves because it seemed that a lot of people were interested in that when I posted it on my Instagram. So stay tuned for Grania Bin's headscarves. But yeah, that was that. That's four euro normally. Obviously, I use my staff discount. I won't mention what that is, but I use my staff discount and got that scarf normally four euro. The next piece, I'm literally, I've had these on hold for so long. And I was like, will I get them? Won't I get them? Will I get them? Won't I get them? And then I was like, fuck it, bitch. Just get them. Like, because I just know if I had not got them and then watched somebody else, like a customer, buy them. I wouldn't have been able to continue on in life. And these are another thing. I think I will probably hand these down to my kids one day. If I ever have them. But, so they're just these little shorts. But, Versace. Yes, bitch. The label inside. Now, I don't know if they're real or not. I was trying to Google it and like it's really hard to tell. But they're actually just so cute on. Like even with this little bralette and stuff that I have on. I just think it'll be so cute. They're like kind of a looser fit as well, which I feel like as I've gotten older, and it's nothing to do with like, you know, being at a certain age that you can't wear booty shorts, but I just don't like wearing booty shorts now. I don't know. Um, it's not even a confidence thing. I just don't like them. I just prefer stuff like this. I think these are like really stylish um, and they're not like too long and baggy either. I don't know. Do you know what I think it is as well? Booty shorts you can't, well, I wouldn't wear it in the winter just because I am such a cold human that like if my ass was cold in the winter, 
I would probably die. These, at least, I think in the winter, what I would probably do with these is maybe buy like some knee high socks and wear like boots and then a big like crew neck kind of jumper with these. So yeah, trying to get as much wear of them, out of them as possible. Maybe not winter, but definitely like autumn, you could wear these with like a jumper, like big hoodie and a coat and like get away with it. Cause it's basically like wearing a skirt and I mean, I wear skirts all year round. That is the first thing. Um, and they're really cute on too. So yeah. The thing I got today actually. Where's my hat? I need to put my hat on for the full effect for this. If that's not a fucking thumbnail right there, I don't know what the fuck is. I got this bag, um, again, this was something, it came out of a big delivery box and I was like, ah! and I've had it on hold ever since. And it was another thing that I was like, you know what? <sighs> that 25 euro is like a few drinks in Ibiza. And then I was like, you know what, bitch, money comes and goes, we'll figure it out. This is another thing I hope to one day hand down to my kids. This is something that like I don't think I will ever sell on Depop. Same with this hat. Like, and that's a thing. Like everything I've been buying this year, I can let go of. Like I'm just like, mm, no, you are mine and you will always be mine. So I'm officially now a hoarder because of how much I love everything that I buy. So yeah, love this. Literally adorable. And I just oh also I have um a bikini ordered which I fucking really pray arrives, but it's. Novacek Burberry print 2 um, and I just think like if it arrives in time for Ibiza it's literally gonna be such a fucking look like can you go because I actually cannot the final two pieces that I have for this haul are pieces that like I've had over the summer that I've collected one I wore to life festival the other one I've literally worn so many times I've actually worn the other one those times too so I'm gonna start with the one that I've worn more times. Um, and it's basically just this little purple skirt. It's like got a really Y2K style to it. It's like purple snake skin. But it's like kind of low-waisted, but like not like Paris Hilton low-waisted, you know? Like it just sits really well on my hips because when it first came in, I was like, oh my God, that skirt is adorable. And then I was like, I could not wear that because like it's so low-waisted. And then I was like, okay, bitch, just try it on. Let's see how we get on. As soon as I tried it on, I was like, okay, girl, you're coming home. I've worn it so many times. I always just stick it with a little waist kind of belt. And then you can literally wear this with anything. Like, again, this is something in the winter. I can probably just throw a big hoodie over it. Like, so I'm really into it. I think when I bought it, I can't remember. I think it, oh, 26 euro, which I mean bargain. Um, so the last piece in this haul, probably one of the most amazing things I've ever owned. It is just this fringe cape. I can put this on now. Oh my God, actually, this is the bra I wore it with at life. So I've really been getting my wear out of my clothes this season, this festival season. So I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, it just kind of slips over your shoulders like that. And then it has these little diamante details on it. I'll take it off again so you, I can talk about it. But yeah, I actually, Tara Stewart did a uh, styling shoot or something. There was a shoot or something anyway. And she wore this for the shoot that she did with Nine Crows. It was before festival season. And I remember being like, so mad that this wasn't in the shop. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, I really want to buy that. I was like, mm -hmm. And then literally, we are a little bit, we got a delivery one day and this was like just laying at the top of the box and I have never screamed. Like if you had heard me scream, you probably would have thought somebody I knew just died. Like it was crazy, like I was insane. I was like, oh my God, like I need that. And you know what, it was actually so well priced. It was literally 25 euro. And then obviously I got my discount, but like I actually love it. And I've worn it out, like on a night out since. And this is something again, I think in like winter, like for like, Christmas party, Halloween, like I will get so much wear out of this. And I actually just love it. Like it's actually my baby. Like I could, I don't think that I will ever sell this. Like, cause even after I wore it at life, I could have got so much money for this on Depop. Like, cause it's so fucking nice. 
but I was just like no like no amount of money is worth how much I love this and how I felt about it when I first opened that box yeah so that's my sad story about that so that is the end of this haul. So I don't know, I think you can tell how much I love every single one of these pieces. Like I actually adore all of them. They kind of all have a little special memory to me at this point. And I think that's what I really, obviously shopping sustainably and shopping secondhand and vintage, we all know at this point, it's so much better for the environment. But I also just think like I create like memories with the pieces that I buy because it's not like, you know, you, if you don't get it that day, like, you can come back for it. Like a lot of the time, if something is amazing in a charity store or in a vintage, vintage store, it's probably gonna be gone the next day. So you really have to love it and you really have to make up your mind in the moment. And I feel like that's what I've done. Obviously the bits in work, I can pop and hold, but even then I'm like, do I love this enough to buy it? And all of the time I like love every single piece enough to buy it because again, I'm also like trying to be more conscious with what I do buy. So it's actually like, do I, adore this and then it like i don't know it's almost like me buying it like the flashback of me buying it like comes into my head so and i think it's just also fun like i feel like a lot of people are like oh second hand like where is that thing before but for me i'm like oh create a memory like who what diva lived a gorge life in this before me you know that is the end of my haul thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already follow me on insta and you will see me wear all these pieces and i shall see you in my next video